Welcome to Evansville and the Division II Final Four. Joel Scott and Black Hills State are a Cinderella in their very first dance. Northwest Missouri State is a D2 dynasty. They've won three of the last four national titles. The road to the Division II National Championship leads to Evansville. Here we go. Yes, the Ford Center in Evansville is the end of the road to the Final Four in Division II. And our first semifinal tonight, Black Hill State, the eight seed, and Northwest Missouri State, the five seed. Our brackets, we got two games tonight. Black Hill State took out the one seed, Nova Southeastern, and nobody is surprised that Northwest Missouri State is here in the semifinals. Hi everybody, I'm Rich Waltz. Welcome to Evansville. Happy to report that Pete Gillen is with us here today. All right, this is really a Cinderella story if you're Black Hill State, but you're running into a D2 dynasty. Northwest State, Northwest Missouri State has won three of the last four national championships. Rich, a wise old coach once said to me, every game is a completely unique situation. Anything can happen. Northwest Missouri State certainly is a favorite. All they do is win three national titles in four years. But Black Hill State has a puncher's chance, okay? This game is going to be fun. All right, it will. A.J. Ross will join us shortly. Now we dive in to Northwest Missouri State. Pay no attention to the five seed. This is a dominant program. 15-0 in the NCAA tournament are these two guards, and they really drive the bus with this team. Trevor Hudgens, two-time player of the year in Division II, and Diego Bernard. Let's start with Hudgens and his offense. Northwest Missouri State has two outstanding guards in Trevor Hudgens and Diego Bernard. You mentioned Rich, two-time national player of the year, 23 points a game, four assists, and he shoots 42% from downtown. That's money for him, easy money. And Diego Bernard, as his partner now, is an outstanding player also. Uh, Bernard is a guy that played tremendous defense. All right, he has 72 steals on the season, quick hands, excellent speed. He's terrific in the open court. He takes charges, he knocks the ball away, and his defense helps their offense get going. He's really a, a tremendous defensive player. Number one team in the country in offensive efficiency, but defense is their calling card. And in the quarterfinals on Tuesday night against Bentley, just 43 points allowed, 21 of the points off of 19 turnovers. Black Hill State, Spearfish, South Dakota, 2,400 the enrollment. Yes, this is their first NCAA tournament and into the Elite Eight and now into the Final Four. How did they get here? Well, this was the one seed. This was Nova Southeastern. And that's a halftime lead, a jumper there. But Sindhu Sise and Joel Scott Got busy in the second half. Did a great job attacking the basket, pick and roll. Joel Scott, 23 points a game. When he go into the basket, use the rim. Well, they got to be concerned, Northwest Missouri State, about this guy. Joel Scott plays bigger than his size, and he plays pretty darn big. Joel Scott is a wrecking machine in the low post. He controls the paint offensively and defensively. He averages 23 points a game and 11 rebounds. He can take over a game at any time. He's got to play great today for them to win. Northwest Missouri State is a Division II dynasty. Black Hills State, their first ever NCAA tournament, and they, here they are with all of us at the Final Four. Walk it down. There we go. Ford Center ready to go. Black Hill State, Northwest Missouri State national semifinal game. The winner gets the championship game on Saturday here in Evansville, and we are joined by A.J. Ross. Hi, A.J. Hi, Rich. Northwest Missouri State has only lost eight times in the last five seasons, and five of those losses have occurred this year. Their last loss back in February knocked them out of the top ten for the first time in 87 weeks. That was the second longest run in D2. However, their shortcomings revealed who they really are as a team and how they can overcome some of the doubts from outsiders. Coach Ben McCollum says they've since adopted a tough and gritty identity as they now seek to become the first team ever to win three consecutive D2 tournament championships. AJ, it's a great point. They lost uh, a lot last year with just one guy when Ryan Hawkins ended up at Creighton. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. We talked about Joel Scott, but this is a Black Hill State team that can shoot the basketball 50% from the field, 37% from distance. 
at Northwest Missouri State great backcourt. This is Ryan Thompson in just his fourth year. He's done something that no other coach in school history has done, and that's get to the NCAA tournament. They're out of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference 26 and 7, and they're hot right now. They have won 10 straight. All right, Pete Gillen, what kind of tempo will we see early on in this semifinal? Well, certainly for Black Hill State, they want to go up and down, chuck and duck, heave and leave. And uh, for Northwest Missouri State, they want to play a medium tempo. They want to really carve you up like a porthouse state in a half court offense. This is Scott, big man who can operate in and out. He's really dangerous in, missed the shot. Wes Dreamer with the rebound for the Bearcats of Northwest Missouri State who are out of the Mid-American Intercollegiate Athletic Association. Northwest Missouri State is the most efficient offensive team. They get more points for protection than anybody in the country. They like to drive, they like to kick, they have set ball screens at really unique angles. They are a handful to defend. Bernard lunges and he walks in a turnover. Starts the game for the defending national champs. Ben McCollum in his 13th season. His record in NCAA tournament games, 26 and five. Unbelievable. If I make a comeback, I'm not gonna schedule his team. <laughs> make a note of that. Then there's Bernard, the defensive player of the year with a steal. What he does best, 72 steals on the season so far. Northwest Missouri State will score points. They average 77 a game, but they operate strictly in the half court. They're not an up-tempo team. And that's the beauty of them. Bernard kicks it away. Some early nerves here from both sides. And Dukic, Sava Dukic, the Serbian, had his foot on the sideline and a flurry of turnovers to open this game. Well, it happens. Once again, uh, high stakes. Both teams are, you know, trying to win the whole thing. So, <clears throat> he's got to calm down a little bit. One coach said of Northwest Missouri State's offense, they will score more points in the half court than you will if you're playing fast or up-tempo. Well, probably true. They get terrific shooters. They finish. Isaiah Jackson open, short on the three. Now the Bearcats can shoot the three as well. They're 40% on the season. They, Black Hill State left him open. They want him to shoot it. He's not one of their best perimeter shooters. Off the screen, Dukic driving, almost lost it. Good rotation. Cisse. Scott against Dreamer. Slips. Shot clock down. Falling away. Uh uh. When this happens, you got to drive the ball. Mitch. Side to side, and drive it. Hudgens averaging 23 a game. He had 27 in the quarterfinals. And that step back three from the lefty is his shot. Yep. Through the carnage, Waters with a putback. And Black Hill State, a good rebounding team. They were plus 20 on the boards in that upset over Nova Southeastern. That's impressive. And a Northwest Missouri State foul. Here's their defense, the Yellow Jackets of Black Hill State. And that's against Nova, who was averaging 95 a game, he held them to just 67. Very impressive. Isaiah Jackson with that foul, first of the game. And Scott misses the three. See, say the rebound. And he misses the putback. Yep. These teams have combined to go 0 of 6. Now 0 of 7 to open up this semifinal game. Yeah, I'd want Hudgens now. High ball screen for him and take it to the basket. Cisse is denying him. Look how tight he is even on the offside. Yep, trying to keep it away from him. The other guy shoot. That's a gorgeous. Go. Yeah, Daniel Bernard can play offense too. Uh, terrific player. And he's like a point guard also. So they really have two point guards. The main one, Hudgens, but Bernard can also do that. Musa with a three. Adam Musa, the sophomore out of Texas. He was one of 10 from distance in the quarterfinal game. 
but his line was still impressive at 11 points, 11 rebounds, 8 assists. Yeah, very good player, like a coach on the court. Good penetration, Hudgens, and Jackson finishes in a 4-3 lead for the Bearcats. Musa eyeing another three. I try to go to Scott inside. He's a leading scorer. He shoots over 60% from the field. Right now, he's playing on the perimeter. Yep. Go inside. That's it. <laughs> Foul. Underway in Evansville. Diego Bernard and the Bearcats looking for another national title. College Basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And by Marco's. Pizza lovers get it. First of two national semifinals, Evansville, Indiana, Division Two, Northwest Missouri State. In there is Ben McCollum. His 13th season, three national titles in the last four tournaments, and four-time Division II Coach of the Year. C.J. Moore in the Athletic called him the best college basketball coach you've never heard of. And those of you that have followed Division II basketball know that he is legendary for his beautiful offense and outstanding defense. Yeah, they do a great job. They really execute. Once again, in offensive efficiency, which means how many points per possession, they lead the country in points per possession. Good inbound play. Baseline out of bounds. And a swinging hook by Sindhu Cisse gives Black Hills a 5-4 lead. And Cisse's got the chore. They're trying to guard Hudgens. Back cut, nicely done. Catch and finish. Wes Dreamer, the sophomore out of Nebraska. <clears throat> Musa, and it will stay with Black Hill State. Brian Thompson described his offense as a controlled tempo, handling the press. Using that low post and Scott inside and out. And right now, Sindhu Cisse is starting to exert himself. The senior out of Harlem. No question. The banks are open, Rich, at Evansville, Indiana. It's about 3.15, so he likes to use the board. Tommy Donovan in the ball game for Black Hills. And a straight on three from Luke Waters. Dreamer with a putback, and he's fouled. And Dreamer goes to the line. <laughs> yeah, great execution by Northwest Missouri State and their offense. They do a great job setting the screen. Here we see now, okay? He's going to set the back screen right here, all right? And we're going to cut off. Dreamer's going to cut off, and they're going to get a layup. Back screen by Hudgens, a great player. You get the layup inside. Many people marvel at the unique angles in which they do screen. How does that confuse the defense? It does. It's very you know, well executed, different angles, high sometimes behind them. They do a terrific job with that. Donovan sneaks his way through. <clears throat> and that's Scott who follows up. Joel Scott, the junior, out of Monument, Colorado. Averages a double-double, had 21 double-doubles this year. He's terrific. Terrific player. <laughs> P.J. Hayes in the ball game for Black Hills right now. And this is Mitch Mascari. And Mascari blocks, and that's Hayes. <clears throat> Off the bench. He's a good shooter also, Rich, as you know. Musa behind the screen. That went down and out. That was from Indianapolis. That wasn't in Evansville. That was a launch. But maybe Mount Vernon. <laughs> I know Mount Vernon, New York, I'm not sure. Well, that's the, the city on the way from St. Louis, about halfway here okay. to Evansville. Right. Fine place. I'm sure it is. Scott, a line drive three rims out. How about that? Wow. No hesitation. 
Tommy Donovan, the junior out of Carlisle, Iowa. And all of a sudden, Black Hills has opened up a four-point lead. And they shoot 37% from downtown, so they're pretty good from outside also. They are letting right now the bigs take the threes, and Dreamer again with a second chance bucket. And we see it coming up, nobody plays him in transition. Donovan way downtown. We got an answer. Missed shot, you don't screen him out. Dreamer with the finish, possible three point play. Here is Dreamer in his third season. He is a COVID sophomore and he misses the free throw. COVID sophomore, it's a new phrase, Rich. You might coin that. Well, that's how coaches and, and sports information directors now talk about players. Yep. You have that extra COVID year, as, yep. as you should. No question. It's deceptive sometimes. You look at the different rosters, you know, whether they counted or not. Cissé short on the three. And it goes to the Bearcats. Mm. Right now, if you're at Black Hill State, you're thrilled. You're playing a, a, a team that's uh, unbelievable. Three championships in the last four years, right? And you're hanging around. So up by two, the longer they stay in, Rich, more confidence they'll get. Trevor Hudgens has not scored. He's taken just one shot. Credit Cissé with the outstanding defense early on. Bernard is clobbered. And that looks like Adam Musa on the foul. Nice attack by Bernard. Good call. Foul on Musa, as you said. That's a key foul. It's the second on Musa, who is their playmaker. And he was the guy that was shutting down Hudgens. Bernard at the line. Replacing Ted Musa. <laughs> so we're even at 12. Eight minutes in, national semifinal. I'd like to see Scott go inside, Rich. <clears throat> this is Scott. By Dreamer, using his body as a weapon, protecting the paint. Bernard with the rebound. Hudson trying to engage. It's Donovan who's chasing him right now. Bernard doubles, blocks. Cissé. Who gets nice find? That's a bucket and a blow. P.J. Hayes and a timeout. A free throw when we get back. Black Hill State first taste of the NCAA tournament in the final four. And on top. Black Hill State a two point lead over Northwest Missouri State final four here in Evansville. Make sure you tune into the 2022 Reese's College All-Star Game presented by Walmart on April 1st. It's live at 430 Eastern right here on CBS Sports Network. And maybe you'll see this guy playing in that All-Star game. Ryan Hawkins, who of course was part of three national championship teams for Northwest Missouri State. He transferred to Creighton for that graduate COVID year. And man, did he have a great year. Second team, all Big East, part of an NCAA tournament team at Creighton, 14 points a game. Shot it well from distance. And certainly a big part of what Ben McCollum has built at Northwest Missouri State. And as A.J. pointed out at the outset, without Hawkins, this is really a different type of Northwest Missouri State team. They lost five games, which is unheard of. Three of those were one-point losses. And they've, in Ben McCollum's word, they've had to win games differently. They had to be gritty. Games are much tighter this year. And they're in a tight one right now. Yep. Got to be impressed, certainly, uh, right now with the defense. I am rich with Black Hill State. They are letting Scott launch whenever he yeah, wants. Exactly. Or excuse me, Waters launch whenever he wants. Playing a percentage. And he missed that one. He's 0 of 4 from distance, 0 of 6 from the field. Yep. Yeah, right now, 
Northwest Missouri State, they shoot 50% from the field, Rich. One of the best in the country. They're shooting now, right, in the 30s, like 35%. So credit early on, Black Hill State's defense. Tommy Donovan. This is Saba Dukic. Joel Scott battling down low. She said. Oh, and it's blocked. Hit. That's Luke Waters on the other end. She says from Harlem, New York, St. Raymond's High School in the Bronx. A tough, hard nosed kid playing in the streets in New York and scrapping in Clarence. So he's going up against the best player in the country, Trevor Hudgens. And he's doing a pretty good job early on. No points for Trevor. Trevor so averages 23, Rich. Scott against Dreamer gets in, left hand finish. Scott. Scott's got more moves than a can of worms inside. He's terrific. Spins, he wheels. He's, he's like you in the parking lot, you know, with the car. You're wheeling all over the place. I had a neck brace on when I was just driving with you. That worm thing's a bad visual. <laughs> this is Waters. <clears throat> Black Hills defensively has kept a check on yep. this man. Hudgens around the screen, in the lane, kicks. Again, Waters. Again, he misses. He's 0 of 5 from 3 and 0 of 7 from the field. Scott missed the jumper. Scott 6'7", 225. They like him in low. That's a good battle against Dreamer, who's 6'7", 200. And Dreamer can shoot the three, though he misses that one. And a rebounding foul on P.J. Hayes of Black Hill State. Joel Scott, 23 points a game. Spins, he wheels. Nice cut off by defense. The left hand. Left hand, right hand, Rich. He's got good footwork. 6'7, but he plays bigger than that. Nine and a half minutes left, first half. Anything surprise you yet from either team? Yeah, I'm surprised that the player of the year, Trevor Hudgens, hasn't scored yet. I'm sure he'll score soon, but right now, now take him. He can go by him, he can go by Donovan. Bernard. Oh, wow. Great move. <laughs> He's tremendous. Like two point guards, Rick. Both guys can get in the lane off the bounce and finish with either hand around the basket. That's exactly what they have. Dukic driving. That shot blocked. Bernard came in for the offside to get a piece. Yep. Still a three point lead. Yep. For Black Hill State, the eighth seed. Strong drive, and this time Waters is on the board. Yep. <clears throat> Jump is not going, attack the basket. Post up, pick and roll. You gotta be diversified in the game. Cicero misses the three. Black Hill State, two of six from distance. Northwest Missouri State, 0 of eight, 0 of nine. Scott out of the game right now for Black Hill State. Ciceric. Dukic whips it. And rip. And that's Bernard again. He's made like five great defensive plays already in this game. Tremendous hands. Great anticipation. Hudgens. Foul. Three free throws. Ciceric fouled him. First personal on Ciceric. <clears throat> and the 15th foul. Yeah, we see that they switch. And Ciceric is on him, and unfortunately, after the shot, he fouled him. <clears throat> they're going to watch the player of the year, Rich. You know, anybody gets close to him, they're going to call it. But good call. One of the, the nuances, and it's not a fun one if you're on defense, for these two guards. Hudgens and Diego Bernard is they're both lefties. You're a lefty sometimes, right? You're right lefty. I don't know if you do everything lefty. When I need to. <laughs> All right. You got skills. In case of emergency. One point ball game. One more free throw. Ben McCollum, who's, uh, you know, 
there's a lot of Division II coaches that call Division I coaches for advice or for, you know, can I look at your offense? Can I ask you questions? He's getting a lot of calls from Division I coaches who are calling him who want to know, how, how do you, you know, tell me about your offense. Tell me about your system. Yeah, no, it's a tremendous coach. Three out of the last four national championships. He's unbelievable. Execute great. We lead the country, as we said before, in offensive efficiency, which means points per possession. Strong move. Donovan missed it. Hudgens. Again, that's a great example there. Long rebound. They don't push tempo. They don't run with the ball. Nope. They get enough points in their half-court flow. They got great spacing, and they shoot the three well, usually. Not this afternoon so far, but I'm sure they'll pick up soon. 0 of 9 right now. Yep. Shot clock down. Waters. Great defense by Black Hill State, Rich. You got to give them credit. I mean, we, we talk about the defense certainly of uh, Northwest Missouri State. It's Bentley was unbelievable, but Black Hill State, it surprised me that the defense is so effective, effective so far. Scott back in. And a steal. This time it's Hudgens. Trevor Hudgens, Manhattan, Kansas, junior. Fourth year. In a crowd. Nicely done. He finds Isaiah Jackson. Great pass by Hudgens. Averages four assists a game. He's frustrated, Richard. He missed two out of three free throws. Shoots 90% from the free throw line. So. He'll, he'll get going soon. 7-0 run right now by the defending national champs. We got Yellow Jackets and Bearcats semifinal. Division two, final four. Northwest Missouri State, a two-point lead over Black Hills State. Now, Trevor Hudgens hasn't scored. He does have three assists and no turnovers. And he is being defended well by the Yellow Jackets. Young man from New York City, Harlem, New York, really playing very tough against the player of the year in the country, Trevor Hutchins. Right, good help by his teammates. They're giving the jump shot to Waters. He's right now 0 for 0. For 0 for. Right, the team is 0 for 9, so uh, that's going to change, though. Uh, right now, north of Missouri State, they shoot. 40% from downtown, Rich, as you know. So right now, uh, 0 for 9 is not good enough. And he's missed two free throws. He's a 90% free throw exactly. shooter. So right now, yeah, he's he'll get going. He's a great player. He's like a nice young man. We talked to him yesterday, right? He'll get going. Musa back in the ball game for Black Hill State. He's got two fouls at the point guard spots. And Scott going to his left. Dreamer has the rebound. A great shot. If I'm Black Hill State, Rich, I want that shot every time. Scott, two for seven from the field, four rebounds. Hudgens engaged now, sweeping the runner. Offensive oh. foul, a screen away from the ball. Uh, that was Byron Alexander with the foul. Wow, well, he's driving in. Right yeah, there. nice Byron job, Alexander. good call. Yep, offensive Jeez. screen, illegal screen. Yep, no question. Byron Alexander. Fresh from Kansas City. That's his first personal. Five team fouls each side. Musa back in the game. Scott with a big rebound. Over Dreamer and he bangs it in. Yeah. You gotta love him. Double double machine, Rich. 23 points, 11 rebounds every game. Some say best D2 player in the country. He's up there. Certainly, Hudgens got it two years in a row, as you know, but they're, they're both great players. Hudgens has the hardware, you're right, for the second straight year. Bernard has been the best defensive player on the floor oh. so far. And here comes Black Hills State. Donovan, good penetration. Scott pulls the three. Sisseric with the rebound. Musa from 27. And that's short. It feels like leather, Rich. It's going up. There's no, we don't need a shot clock this I, game. We can I, put it in a, in a suitcase. Actually, these new Wilson basketballs are synthetic. The ones that they're using in the NCAA tournament. The, and they're Clark Kellogg's favorite because they really are a big orange, right? Big orange, yeah, that's for sure. But yeah, you, you, you're infatuated with the ball, Rich. I saw that. Dude. Players liked it. In fact, I asked Hudgens about the ball, and he said it took him a little bit 
uh, of playing to get used to it, but now that they've played with it for two weeks, he said he loves the grip. Very helpful for point guards. Uh, That's Dreamer. That's third putback. He's doing a great job. Big part of their success. West Dreamer. This shot, you don't screen him out properly. Gets the boards, pump fake, and traffic. Nice finish. West Dreamer, 6 7 sophomore. Alvo, Nebraska. Dreamer, a guy that does a little bit of everything. And this year, he's had to get a little more physically tough, you know, without Hawkins. Hawkins, a big player. Yep. Dreamer is a guy that ends up having to guard the bigs, and he's got Scott for an assignment in this game. That's Donovan. That's a terrific move. Move. He hit a big-time jumper on the break. Tommy Donovan. And it's a one-point game. Yep. Hudgens launches. Yes. Uh, that's a tough shot. Wow. <laughs> Great defense, better offense. That was a heck of a shot. <clears throat> say fouled. Wow. <clears throat> and he's going to get three free throws. Trevor Hudgens hadn't scored a basket. Here we go. Gets it here. Nice handoff. says a smidgen late. He got that off quickly, Rich. Heck of a shot from the player of the year in Division II. Trevor Hudgens. say <clears throat> to the line. Uh, And it's Hudgens with the foul. You can see him graze that right arm. Yeah. <clears throat> so you say 60% from the line. Black Hill State 70% on the season. Free throws win a lot of games, especially when you get the tournament championship rounds. Hudgens finds Bernard. Well, he's quick too. Lightning quick guards. Hudgens a, pulls a three and missed it badly. This is Joel Scott. And it's an offensive wow. foul. Dreamer <laughs> takes the charge. First foul for Scott. And the Bearcats are on top. Big man coming down the lane. Ben McCollum's Bearcats normally shoot threes quite well. 40%, which is excellent in college basketball. But right now, one of 12, as you look at that shot chart. And here's some of the uh, some of the video proof on the struggles so far for this team that normally knocks these shots down. Yep. Usually money for them. They make 10 a game. Right now they have one, and as you mentioned, Rich, uh, really struggling from downtown. One for 12 which is 8% in my math. But the flip side of the success for the Bearcats is their defense. They are a terrific defensive team, and they have held Black Hills State to just 9 of 26 shooting, which is 35%. Great defense. They hold their opponent to 62 points a game, so their defense is outstanding. They get a nice close look for Waters. Waters. And the lead is stretched to five. Biggest lead. For Northwest Missouri State. Donovan cut off. Missed the jumper. Bernard is everywhere in this game, it feels like. With his third rebound. Hudgens now. Against Musa, who's got two fouls. That's a walk. Mitch Muscari with the turnover. All right, here we see now a nice back screen here. Hudgens, a player of the year, sets a back pick. His man comes off, they lob it up, layup. Great execution by Northwest Missouri State. Boom, throws it in, Waters, pump fake. Duck Daly would love that pump fake, the violent pump fake, which they don't use that anymore. They don't. The game is going to pot. <laughs> Better than the passive pump fake? Yeah, no, my point is, you, you gotta, you know, get the people in the air, try to get a three-point play. That's anathema right now. I don't know what anathema means, but I know 
much, so I figured throwing it out there. <laughs> We're in Evansville, actually. Cisse <laughs> uh, misses. Scott barges in. Private loose. Shot clock's melting. Cisse kicks. Musa looks at the clock. Got to get a shot off. Hounded. Short. And great defense by the Bearcats. Exactly. Bearcats, terrific defense. <laughs> Both teams out in this semifinal game here at the Final Four. A little nervous, it felt. They were tight. Teams combined to miss their first seven shots. And it has settled down a little bit. Yep. Northwest Missouri State, a five point lead. Waters. Yes! There we go. Finally a three. That's got to feel good for Luke Waters. Yep. Saturation shooter, Richard, keep shooting. One of six from distance, three of 11 from the field, and the lead now has grown to eight. Scott probing. That left hand yep. is his best shot, that yep. sweeping hook in the lane. The Dream is doing a terrific job on him, making him work for every basket. <clears throat> CC, once again, as we said before, doing a great job on Hudgens out now. Scott has eight to lead the Yellow Jackets. Bernard banged by Scott as he came through the lane. Second foul on Joel Scott, the best player for the Yellow Jackets. AT&T at the half is coming up. Brent Stover, Shelvin Mack, John Rothstein, Gary Parrish. We'll talk Division II hoops back in our New York studio. We'll sit down with Northwest Missouri State's Trevor Hudgens. It's all coming up, AT&T at the half. Diego Bernard. Running mate to Trevor Hudgens. Yeah. Seven points, three rebounds, and spectacular defense so far. I'm really impressed with him, Rich. Lightning quick also. He gets the ball. He explodes to the basket. <clears throat> Black Hill State's got to get a hoop now. Can't get too far behind. Musa <laughs> feeds Cisse. Backing in on Bernard, and that's a foul. The personal foul on West Missouri State one. Diego Second Bernard. personal on Diego Bernard. Yep. That's good offense. He backs him in. He hits him three or four times. He got his money's worth for sure. That's, that's great coaching for sure, Rich. When some guy's hurting you offensively, you attack him on the other end. When he plays defense, try to get him in foul trouble, wear him out a little bit. So great job, I thought, that time by Coach Ryan Thompson in attacking Bernard, who's really been playing well. Right now for Northwest Missouri State. Ryan Thompson, an assistant at Jamestown, played at Jamestown and the University of Wisconsin River Falls. And you, you can't grow up in Wisconsin or play in Wisconsin or coach in Wisconsin in his era and not be influenced by Dick Bennett. The pack line defense, there's uh, some of that, that DNA. It seems like it's in everybody who played or coached in Wisconsin for about a 20 year period. Yep. Dick Bennett, a fabulous coach. I coached against him twice when I was at Providence College and once at the University of Virginia. A tremendous coach, unbelievable defensive coach, and even a better person. Waters again in tight. He's starting to heat up. Nine points for Luke Waters. Mm -hmm. Off the screen, Cisse against Waters. Good rotation. Dukic missed the three. And Waters has the rebound. Final seconds, first half, first game in the final four, this Division Five II semifinal, and a timeout with 20 seconds left. First half, and a 34-26 lead for the Bearcats. Northwest Missouri State, they are the five seed, but everyone Figures them as one of the favorite here. They've had so much success. Three of the last na four national titles. You can see the banners up. And of course, there was not a NCAA tournament in 2020. They were only the number one team in the country <laughs> had they played a tournament in 2020. Yep. Well, the unbelievable success. Ben McCollum's been fabulous with his team. That's how dominant they have been. All right, Hudgens, that's the guy you want with the ball in the final seconds. At the end of a half or at the end of the game. Working against Cisse. Hudgens 
Good defense so far. Hudgens driving, stepping, and just missed. Dreamer! Yes! It counts! Wes Dreamer. How about the first half that Wes Dreamer has had? Almost a double-double, 11 points, eight rebounds, four of them on the offensive glass, and he's put all four back in. Yep, great camera work. Dreamer has been fabulous in the lane. Tremendous. Great tap in, big boost. The Northwest Missouri State going to the locker room. It counts. Wes Dreamer with the tip. And Northwest Missouri State headed to the locker room with their biggest lead of the game, 36 to 26. And we check in with A.J. Ross. A.J.? That's right, Coach McCollum. You mentioned a key to this game being getting into an offensive rhythm early. It didn't exactly happen beyond the arc. You guys were two for 13. How would you assess your team's ability to adjust and find other ways to score? Yeah, you know, we, we were able to crash the offensive glass a little bit. You know, we took, we're taking good shots. We're getting paint touch threes, and, you know, we just got to knock them down. Uh, you know, we had we saw one go in, Luke Waters did, which is good. We just got to see a few more go in because that's what they're giving us. Thank you, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, AJ. The defending national champs looking good here in the Final Four. National semifinal. We'll send you to Brett Stover and company in New York for AT&T at the half right after these messages. This is AT&T at the half. AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. Division II semifinals, Trevor Hudgens from long range around the screen. Northwest Missouri State up 10, closing the half. On a 17-7 run. Welcome inside our New York studios. Brent Stover alongside Gary Parrish, Shelvin Mack, John Rothstein. Yep. At the half, Black Hills State and Northwest Missouri State in the first Division II semifinal tonight on our air. Shelvin, what stands out so far? Northwest Missouri State getting to the basket. They're usually a three-point shoot, uh, shooting team, number seventh in the country, and knocking down a lot of threes. But today, they're able to get to the paint. They're not shooting the ball well. As Trevor Hudgens, the, the guy who averages 23 points a game for them, the one player of the year, they're doing a great job of not settling and getting to the basket. Right here, he had a wide open shot. He decided to get to the basket. Right here, he got the guy playing underneath the defense, been able to get the layup. And then off those threes, you got to go to the, to the glass and rebound and able to put it in. So they're doing a great job with the points in the paint, with 24 points in the paint. And it's unusual the way this team play. They're doing a great job of standing the game and looking for their third back. I mean, their third championship in three years. Yeah, they lead by 10 despite just two of 13 from downtown. West Dreamer leading the way with 11 in the second Division II semifinal tonight. Trevor Hudgens, Northwest Missouri State's defending national champs. National semifinal game, Division Two, and a 10-point lead. Rich Waltz along with Pete Gillen. He's the guy. He is the best player in Division Two. And, you know, we were talking about Division Two and Ryan Hawkins. There were other guys that made the jump from Division Two and had success this year at the Division One level. A lot of tremendous players that were in Division Two that moved on, Rich. And as you mentioned, Ryan Hawkins was second-team All-Big East. He was terrific. Right, Bonner, Baylor. Uh, Grant from Wichita State, Chandler Jacobs did a great job at Colorado State, and Joel Murray at Long Beach State. So these guys are terrific players. Don't worry about what division they're in. Yeah, Quay Grant and Joel Murray last year were on that West Texas State team that lost to Ryan Hawkins in the championship yep. game. And, and the question was, and not only Ryan Hawkins, who obviously went to Creighton, but where would Trevor Hudgens go? Uh, and so the question was in the offseason for Hudgens, would he stay or would he go? Yeah. Just announcing that I was coming back this past summer, it was kind of an announcement to me. I thought it was a no-brainer. I, I didn't have my name in the transfer portal or anything. I always thought I was coming back for to finish out and uh, graduate at Northwest. I mean, I just want to uh, finish what I started. It would mean the world to me to close out my career here at Northwest with another championship. Uh, just knowing the past five years has been just work, hard work. It would mean the world just to win another one with the guys. My relationship with uh, Coach Mack has gotten stronger over the years. My first year, you know, you're just a freshman. I was a red shirt, and, you know, you just try to work hard and follow the seniors and the, and the leaders on the team. Then, I mean, you know, my first year playing, we won the championship. He would get on me a little bit more, and, I mean, 
he's he's a great coach, knows his X and O's, but uh, his relationships with his team and his, uh, and especially his guards is very very important to him. And I feel like I can go to him about anything, uh, basketball, personal life, it doesn't matter. He's always there for me. Some people say I play like Mike Conley. I play like Derek Fisher. I think just because left hand. Uh, I don't really model my game after anyone. I just pick and choose, you know, some of the great point guards like Chris Paul, Steve Nash, look at Damian Lillard, I look at Steph Curry right now, just look at the greats in the NBA. To win a national championship, I think it takes mental toughness, just readiness, you gotta have a defensive mindset. You know, they say defense wins championships, the chemistry with your teammates as well, being on the same page, it goes a long way during a championship run and uh, I think that's what it takes to win a championship. What's next after this season and after Northwest, just more basketball. Um, I'm gonna try to find an opportunity to keep on playing at the professional level, wherever that might be, but after Northwest, it's, it's more basketball. Trevor Hudgens of Northwest Missouri State, Evansville, Indiana. Final four, Division Two. This is a semifinal matchup and a 10 point lead for the defending champs. 10 point halftime lead for the defending champs, Northwest Missouri State in Evansville, Indiana. National semifinal of Division Two basketball. Let's go! Back in Evansville, first half numbers. Pete Gillen, the points off turnovers jump off the page. No question, that's the difference. Right now, uh, Northwest Missouri State has 10 points off seven turnovers by Black Hill State, so got to take care of the ball for sure. Now, Rich, we got a play one to talk about. Yeah, we do. We have Pete a play. Gillen, Rich Waltz, AJ Ross will join us shortly. Yeah. And, and what you're about to describe, I guess, is the bright spot for uh, the Yellow Jackets and the way they've defended Trevor Hudgens. No question, doing a great job defending Hudgens. They're not letting him touch the ball, right? CC there, all right, on top of the key there, you see he's not watching the ball. It's called no help. So he's just defending it. If he doesn't have the ball, Hudgens can't score. So here we see, ball's on the other side of the court, right? CC is not looking at the ball, right? He just, right now, he's don't let him get it. Now, Ward just makes a jump shot. There were two with 13, which is only 15%, but they're going to take those chances. So, uh, great job defensively by Cissé, but right now Black Hill State's got to get a little help from their friends. Scott's got to get a little help. He's not doing it by himself. So, uh, big key, Rich, is the first five minutes of the second half for both teams, but especially for Black Hill State. That was a play we love, brought to you by Marcos Pizza. <laughs> that is Trevor Hudgens. West Dreamer, 11 points, eight rebounds. That certainly has been a, a shot in the arm for Ben McCullum and Northwest Missouri State. They travel well, their fans are here. We've got uh, plan, uh, fans from the Black Hills State area, Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, Spearfish, South Dakota. And we'll see how Ryan Thompson and the Yellow Jackets adjust offensively to try to get rolling. They did not shoot the ball well at all. Hudgens and the Bearcats first touch, second half. Jackson in the paint. The adjustment I think that Northwest Missouri State's gonna do, Rich, is have Hudgens come off a ball screen. They're gonna switch, then he'll attack the guy who switches onto him. Hudgens to say, still chasing him around. Dreamer feeds Jackson's wide open. Biggest lead of the ball game now is 12. Yeah. Northwest Missouri State's a well-oiled machine, a great offensive efficiency with points per possession are, are fabulous. Best in the country, Rich. Dukit steps through, high arcing shot. And away with the rebound is Diego Bernard. Great spacing. That's offensive Ooh. foul. Bernard, and that's his third. 
And we check in with A.J. Ross. A.J.? Rich, Black Hill State coach Ryan Thompson told me his team has to play to win. They've been slow coming off screens, and they could do a better job getting Joel Scott touches and rebounding. Defensively, he said they have done a great job limiting Trevor Hudgens to just one for sure, core shooting in that first half. They probably couldn't have done any better. They have to keep that momentum going, guys. All right, A.J., good stuff because Scott is their best scorer. He's got eight points and six rebounds in this game, and they can... They can use scoring for sure. Cisse driving down the lane, lost the handle. Ciceric has the loose ball. Shot clock down to seven. Musa, shot clock's at three. Musa, whoa, falling away. That didn't have much arc to it, but it went down. Great defense by Northwest Missouri State, but better offense, tough shot. You can live with that, Rich, when you play that great defense. Jackson against Scott. Whips it to Waters. Mascari in the game, and Mascari's drive cut off. He's in for Bernard, who is on the bench now with three fouls. Shot clock's down, Mascari, uh -uh. And a stop by Black Hills State. We see a nice move, great defense. Shot clock's winding down, fade away from way downtown. Jackson's on him, Musa, hoop. It's a big loss now without Bernard Rich, so we'll see what happens. They got other good weapons, but Bernard is a fabulous player. As you saw, neither team has shot the three well. Musa, again, late clock. Musa rescued him last time. Another heave. Another bucket. How about that? It's too easy. He likes when the shot clock's going down. Three, two, one. He's got eight. And the Yellow Jackets are within seven. Yep. Black Hill State's are letting certain guys shoot. Dreamer double, passes out of it, gets it back. Small man on him. Oh, Musa goes down. Scott with the rebound. Cisse up the floor. His value has been defense. He has shut down the player of the year in Division II basketball. Scott's jumper rims out. Scott's going to go inside, and they got to look for him. And he's got to demand the ball. I coach guys that say, give me the darn ball. You know, go right in the face of the point guards or the off guards. <clears throat> He's got to go in there. Can't go camping outside. That's turnover, and you can see how angry Ben McCollum is right now. Yeah, he's snapping. He's usually very calm, very intense. Tremendous coach. An unbelievable job he's done at Northwest Missouri State. Musa trying to create. And he's fouled. And it's Isaiah Jackson. So we talked about the, the two stars, and Hudgens was the player of the year in Division II. Scott was a candidate for that award as well. And neither has had a great game so far. Nope. Credit the defense by both teams. They're keying on him, so when plan A don't work, you gotta go to plan B. Scott, I said, I'd like to see him go inside and, and his teammates look for him a little bit more. Musa cut off. Great defense by Jackson. Musa, ball was blocked. Shot clock down. Scott got to get it up. He does. And it's tipped out. And a Bearcat basketball in the hands of Trevor Hudgens. In our halftime visit with Hudgens, you heard him talk about his coach, Ben McCollum. He was also a guard at Northwest Missouri State. Played there and is back, obviously, for this great run as a head coach. We got, we got a terrific game right here in Evansville, Indiana. Stick with us. Northwest Missouri going to cut down the nets one more time on Saturday. See what happens. Ten-point halftime lead, down to seven now. Northwest Missouri State on top of Black Hills State in this national semifinal. Tonight, 10 Eastern, Mexico and the U.S. It's an age-old rivalry, and they're both looking for a ticket to the World Cup.
CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers on CBS Sports Network, and it streams live on Paramount Plus. Rich Waltz along with Pete Gillen, AJ Ross, and that's Ben McCollum, three national titles in the last four tournaments. A guy that a lot of Division I coaches have high praise for, call for offensive advice. He's got such a creative offense, the flow, the screens, the efficiency, and he's got the hardware to back it up. But right now, early in the second half, they're struggling a little bit. So, and without Diego Bernard, Black Hill State has a little opening, Rich. See what happens. Bernard on the bench right now. Byron Alexander in in his spot. And they get it inside and get a bucket. And just like A.J. Ross was talking about, Joel Scott needs more touches. Exactly. You got to let the big dog eat. Get him the ball. Let him touch it. This is a 7-0 run right now. You can see it stretches three and a half minutes. Waters. Hudgens on the move. Waters set for three. Yes! He missed his first six, and he's buried his last two. It's okay. If you're Black Hill State, Rich, you take that chance. This is Scott backing in, muscling in, and scoring again. You got hit, should have been at one. That's mom. She played in the low post at Air Force. Wow. She's counseling her son aggressively to do things. Yes, and she's the one he goes to because his dad played football at Air Force. So uh -huh. mom knows the low post <laughs> moves. Dad can help a little bit. Three seconds, he's living it, Dan. Cisse shadowing Hudgens. Leans in, missed it. Boy, Hudgens right now is one of five from the field. Yep. Great player, but once again, Cisse's doing a fabulous job. Cisse got Whoa. it up and in. And all of a sudden, the Yellow Jackets are within four points. From Harlem, New York, St. Raymond's High School, famous high school, Rich, in New York City. A lot of great players have come out of there, and uh, this young man is a very, very good player. Young guy, but he's certainly stepping up in this big stage. Cisse, as you noted, I mean, he's paying attention to nobody but Hudgens. You can see him on the perimeter of your shot there, and that's a nifty right hand by Alexander, the freshman out of Kansas City. Yep. Yep. Diego Bernard is at the table to come back in for the Bearcats. I think that's smart. He's got three fouls. Got a little play. Trust him. Scott, that left hand has wow. been money. 14 for Scott now. 7 of 16. Yep. Coach McCombs going crazy on the baseline there. Yeah, Coach Mom is, uh, yep. knows what she's talking about. Yep. Hudgens. Wow. Cissé was in his face. Waters driving. Yes. Offensive foul. Yep. Yep. Scott is really tough inside him. Stay inside, big fella. Big dog, stay in there. That's it. You own the paint. Don't go outside camping. Here we see a nice drive. Nice way to step in. Way to step in. Coach McCollum getting a little, a little flustered. Great move having Bernard back in, Rich. You don't want to be the richest guy in the graveyard keeping him. You know, keeping him on his side. It doesn't help. You don't need it. Luke Waters with that foul. It's his second personal. Big possession now for both teams. Scott again. Waters on his back. Scott backs in. He's getting hit. He is. You gotta call that. And it's a foul. If it's Waters, it's his third. Let's see who comes up. Step. It is Waters' third. It's called freedom of movement. You stop their rhythm, their speed, right? Their rhythm, they knock them off balance. That time to knock them off balance. He stopped his rhythm. They stopped his speed. That's a foul. Scott a movement. again going foul to work. Again. That's a foul again. No whistle, though. Now play on. Got to get home and see Law and Order rerun some of the officials. <laughs> that was a foul. Hudgens kicks. This is Waters. And his three rims out. Dreamer. And he's fouled on the rebound. Timeout. Black Hill State has made a run, and they've done it with Joel Scott and his mom, Teresa.
who played in the low post at Air Force, likes what she sees. Look at mom. <laughs> Division two national semifinal has tightened up four point game. We check in with AJ Ross. AJ. Well, Rich, Black Hills coach Ryan Thompson puts a lot of credit into their team success this year, all the way back to last spring with Joel Scott and Sindhu Cisse putting in a lot of off-season work, especially in the weight room. Scott put on 15 pounds of muscle, and he did a great job, as I mentioned, in the weight room, but he was already a good back-to-the-back -back, uh, basket post player, and they encouraged him to work on adding a pull-up range and other things into his arsenal. Cisse also got stronger and more athletic, too, so this dynamic duo is really doing a lot of things on both sides of the floor, guys. All right, AJ, talk about dynamic. What about his family? There's Cissé, who's been terrific defensively, shutting down Hudgens. And, of course, Scott, he's got brothers who have all played either Division I football, Division I basketball. His dad was a football player at Air Force. We've seen his mom. Yep. She was a, a low post player on the Air Force basketball team. And he's just carrying on the family tradition. Exactly. We gotta get Hudgens going now. If you're on Northwest Missouri State. <clears throat> Great player. Nice uh, backdoor cut. Good help. All right. Inside by the big guy. Shot clock's down. Hudgens, long three. Yes! And that's his ability. He can make deep threes, even deep contested threes. Yep. Excellent defense, but a great shot by Hudgens. Not gonna keep him quiet for too long. He's too good a player. Dreamer got a hand on that. Huggins wants it now. He feels it. He's got a hoop. Go by him now. You can go by him. Huggins. This is Bernard. Ooh, strong screen from Waters. Back in the hands of Huggins. And it's Dukic who's guarding him right now. So you say off of him. Too quick for Dukic. Drive the ball. Three. No. And Cissé has the rebound. Black Hill State shooting better in the second half. They're 50% in the second half, 37% in the game. Cissé, good rotation. That's Hayes, and he misses a three. Got a good look. I get the ball to Bernard, which I think he's too quick for his man. Ball screen for Hudgens. Gets it right back. Take him, Bernard. He can't guard you. Go. Bernard. The lefty. Yeah, That's easy money, Rich. Easy money for Bernard. It was down to four, and it's stretched back now to nine. It stays with Black Hill State, much to the dismay of Ben McCollum. Yep. I tell you, I really like Isaiah Jackson. He's playing very aggressive defensively, not a great scorer. You see, Bernard, too quick. Way to attack the basket. Too, fa too fast for Dukic. Too athletic. <clears throat> Dukic is a fine player, but he can't guard Bernard. Scott, nicely done. Good entry from Tommy Donovan. Good execution. They screen the big guy into the post. Mom looks That's like the she, name of the game. Mom looks like she could still play. Oh yeah, mom is intense. Pick and pop and waters a three. Uh, terrific shooter. Leads back to ten. Cisse. Yeah. Not his strength, Rich. They'll give him that shot all day. He's going to Waters. He's red hot. Let him touch it. Dreamer with that rebound now has his double-double. He's an 11.10 rebound ball game so far. Waters driving by Scotts and scores. He's tough. He's not just a Division II play. He could play a lot of places, Waters. It was a four-point game, and Northwest Missouri has put their foot back down on the pedal. 53-41. The defending national champs in the national semifinal. Division II hoops.
in Evansville. And it's a 12-point game. 53-41, the defending champs on top, national semifinal game. Got to feel good for Luke Waters. He had a miserable first half shooting the basketball, but he's been sizzling in the second half. Been great inside, outside, leading score in the game right now. Downtown, made three threes. He said he was cold early, Rich, but now he's three for nine, so he's red hot, leading scorer. Doing a nice job, doing a good job defensively, rebounding, so... Uh, they got so many weapons, Rich. They're shutting down the player of the year. Two years in a row, national player of the year. Right now is, is struggling. Seven points, two for seven. Got five assists, so he's doing some good things. Playing good D, but uh, it's... Uh, yeah, on the flip side of that, though, it, it shows the strength of this Bearcat team when you've got other guys. Dreamer's got a double-double. Waters is heated up. Yeah. And Bernard has been brilliant defensively. Yeah. No, it's a great team. It's going to take a heck of a team on a heck of a day or a night to beat these guys. 37%. That's what Black Hills State is shooting in this game. Yeah. Musa. Yep. Contested three. Yep. Yeah. I really like the job Isaiah Jackson doing defensively, Rich. Not much of a score, but terrific defender. Jackson's just a freshman. We've got Byron Alexander, a freshman as well. Hudgens against Cisse. Nicely done. Good hands there by Donovan. And Ciceric is fouled by Waters. And that is Waters' fourth personal foul. And it yeah. happens about uh, 50 oh, feet from the basket. Yeah. Column got a little sick. Grabbed his head. He didn't like that. Because Waters is playing so well. Leading scorer in the game. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> So Waters going to have to come out. There's plenty of basketball left in the second half. Yep. Lead was down to four. It's back to 12, and this equals the biggest lead for Northwest Missouri State. Yep. Waters a big reason why, right? He's knocking down threes, driving the ball. Mitch Muscari comes in. Muscari is 6'5", 185, and a steal. Who else? Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Bernard uh -oh. went up for the dunk and was fouled. Bernard back up on his feet. It looked like Ciceric with the foul. I don't think he meant to hurt him at all. We'll take a timeout and sort this out. Officials headed to the monitor. 7.49 left in this national semifinal. 53-41. Ah, clean block initially, but the body really came in hard. Let's sort through this. Diego Bernard going up on a on a fast break, Riker Ciceric, number 11, made the block. We were briefed once by the officials, and another official is over to talk to Pete, as you can see. The original call was a common foul on the shot and a technical foul for taunting. And now the officials have arrived, and Pete, it sounds like they may have added something to the, the yep, call. Yep. They determined a flagrant one because of the physicality of it. So it's two shots and a technical on Cesaric for talk and smack. So you're going to get four free throws and the ball underneath for Northwest Missouri State. Boom. He got the ball, but he also got his head. <coughs> yeah. And he started talking a little bit. That's where the referees see right there. Referee, right? Don Basil said, hey, you can't talk smack. No, you can't talk. So the foul is upgraded to a flagrant one. Flagrant one and a technical also on the same guy. All right. He now has four. <clears throat> no, once again, he hasn't scored any points, but uh, still hate to lose a player. <clears throat> foul trouble, but he's got four. He can still get back in. The good news is that Bernard is okay. Yeah. He did get plenty of ball, but this he went right through the body after yep. the block. Yeah. Well, and then stepping towards him, 
The official was right there. We obviously couldn't see or obviously couldn't hear what he said. But he was talking smack. Here we go. He goes for the ball. So you hit him in the head and the chin, too, as he, after he blocked the shot, Rich. I think that was what <clears throat> upgraded from a common foul to a flagrant one. These are the technical foul shots. Yep. Another angle. So, yeah, his head snapped back like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> Good call by the officials. <clears throat> All right. And now Bernard comes to the line. And he will shoot his two for the foul on his shot. Yep. And this has the feeling like it's going to blow this game wide open. This is the biggest lead. Yep. They hit all four free yep. throws. Yep. I mean, they're shooting 80% from the line. That's a terrific yep. percentage in college basketball. Yep. And for Ciceric, four fouls on the bench. Largest lead now, balloons to 16. Yep. And because of the flagrant one, they got possession also. So <clears throat> the deep hole already. Now it's the Grand Canyon. Especially against a team as, as good defensively and as efficient offensively as Northwest Missouri State. Hudgens with the clock running down against Cisse in the lane, kicks it out. Mascari, yes! That's a three. That's like a seven point play. Unbelievable, yeah. Uh, the basket gets as big as the Atlantic Ocean when you get a double figure lead. You know what I mean? So Mascari. <clears throat> Made a nice shot, but when you have that cushion. This was a four-point game, it feels like, five minutes ago. Exactly. Musa getting to the lane and getting to the bucket with the left hand. Adam Musa. Adam Musa now with 10 points. But still, the lead is 17. And the way they take care of the ball, Rich, and Run the shot clock, it's big, big gap. Hudgens will cross over. Bernard kicks. That's scary. Bernard, fake, foul. Uh-oh. Oh. And an injury. Blackfield State, 21. Tommy Donovan. Tommy Donovan is down, and he has suffered a leg injury, and it does not look good. Six and a half minutes left, and you can see the reaction of his teammates. Donovan is down, and the trainers are hustling to get out there, and it is not a great scene right now in Evansville. And you can see the pain that Donovan is in right now. Yep. Donovan, the junior out of Carlisle, Iowa. And you can see his teammates. <clears throat> Donovan trying to block that shot. Late shot clock situation yep. Goes up. with Bernard. Ooh. See him turn that ankle as he came down. And you've got a physician out there as well. Along with the training staff of both schools. Yep. It's already, the foot is already in a cast. The medical staff got there quickly. You can see them pumping the air cast. A, a really tough moment. Yeah. Obviously for Black Hill State, but even the the Bearcats, and this happened right in front of their bench, really affected by this as well. We'll step aside. Mm -hmm. 
NCAA Division II semifinal game in Evansville, <clears throat> Indiana. Black Hill State, Tommy Donovan with a right leg injury and a severe one. His parents are on the floor. Both medical staffs have tended to him. His leg has been stabilized and a physician has been with him. Both coaches have been there, including, you can see the back of his head coach, Ryan Thompson. Um, this arena here, the Ford Center, has been very, very quiet, as you would expect, for the last seven to eight minutes while they have stabilized first the foot and the leg, and now Donovan himself on the floor. Mm -hmm. Such a physical game, Rich, you know, it's, it's amazing more injuries don't happen, you know, because guys are big and strong and quick, and lifting weights all year. And this injury did not appear to be a, a result of a collision. He was leaping to block the shot of Diego Bernard of Northwest Missouri <clears> State <throat> when he collapsed. And right now, I would assume that they're waiting for the ability to transport him off of the floor. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, they've, we've confirmed that they are bringing a stretcher out to get him mm. off of the floor and certainly take him to, you would expect, a nearby facility. We are in downtown Evansville. And this is the first of two semifinal games. It's the final four of Division II basketball. And the Yellow Jackets of Black Hill State, very much an underdog against the defending champions, Northwest Missouri State. Donovan in this game has played well. He has come in off the bench and provided a spark for Ryan Thompson's team. His mother in the Yellow Jacket. His father in the gray T-shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, number 21, Tommy Donovan. Teammates come over to give him a hug. That's a nice scene for a teammate showing. Right? Love for that down teammate. He's hugging him, the whole team. <clears throat> Donovan is, and in, in talking to Ryan Thompson yesterday about Donovan, one of the things that stood out is just his academics. 4.0 student. He's in the process of getting his MBA. Yeah. It was great. A bunch of the Northwest Missouri State players came over and shook hands with them. And yeah, well, I mean, it happened right in front of their bench, <laughs> and they seemed to be just as affected as the Black Hill State players in this, yeah. and, and both mm -hmm. fan bases. Yep, yep. Big fan base from Northwest Missouri State. A bunch of ovations for Tommy Donovan. We will update you when we get a chance. A.J. Ross is here. And 
Of course, we do have another game later on tonight, the second semifinal. Three free throws, Northwest Missouri State. And so Bernard ends Bernard. up at the line for the three free throws. IUP, Indiana University, Pennsylvania against Augusta is our second game tonight. It should be a great one, Rich, that second game. I'm not sure how in the world you, you focus here if you are Black Hill State. Yep. And you're obviously down big, 61-43, six and a half minutes left <clears throat> in this national semifinal. Yep. This is Scott against Dreamer. Scott's been the best scorer on the night for Black Hill State. <clears throat> He's the only guy in double figures from Black Hill State, Rich. This is a 13-2 run and a foul out high by Cisse. You know, early, Bernard was the best defensive player on the floor, but I don't know. Cisse may be giving him a run for his money. Cisse has been brilliant today, shutting down Trevor Hudgens, the player of the year in Division yep. Two. Yep, now he's done an unbelievable job on Hudgens. He's got two fouls now. <clears throat> Cisse has the ball to Hudgens. Bernard against Dukic. Mess. Yes! The Bearcats, that's what they do. Lots of touches. Late shot clock. They bury a three. Yeah. Tremendous team. So many weapons. Player of the year is not having a great game. Not even a good game, but don't matter. Musa, short on the three, and a rebound to the Bearcats, who have won three of the last four national titles of Division II. And a timeout. Ben McCollum calls the timeout. Northwest Missouri State with a comfortable lead, 64-43, seemingly about to arrive in yet another national championship game that of course on Saturday on CBS. <clears throat> McCollum's done an unbelievable job. Terrific job. <clears throat> Here we see, kick it out. A scary step back three. Splash. Wow. So many weapons, Rich. So many guys. And remember, Northwest Missouri State was miserable from the three-point line in the first half. They've now hit seven of 21. I think they were one of 12 at one point. Yep, yep. Halftime was two and 11, two for 11, so. That's Diego Bernard and the trainers for the Bearcats looking at that left knee. Remember Bernard, before the, the awful injury to Donovan, Bernard went down in a violent collision with Riker Sisarek. It was a flagrant one. He was going in on a high leaping dunk attempt. Yep. He stayed in the game, but he's come out, and now they're looking at, at his knee. They have to look at Ciceric. Yep. They did bandage the elbow of Bernard after that fall. I was surprised he got up, Rich. He went down like a ton of bricks. I was stunned that, uh, <clears throat> you know, he got up. I hope he's okay. And Bernard is actually on his way to the, the locker room. State, and that's 10, certainly of concern Missouri. if you're thinking about Saturday for the Bearcats. The Bearcats got a great team, but Bernard is such a big part of it. Hopefully he'll be okay. Here is Joel Scott. He's got 16 points. His first free throw is good. And for Ryan Thompson, you know, they enter, they reseed the Elite Eight, once you get to the Elite Eight, and those games are all played here in Evansville, teams are reseeded. And Black Hill State was the eighth seed. They were the last seed, and they drew the number one seed, Nova Southeastern, and beat them, beat them by 10 yep. on Tuesday night in the quarterfinals. <clears throat> They've had a great year, Black Hill State, for sure. 
Reaching foul. Alternating possession gives the basketball. No, a held ball, Hill alternating State. possession. Tonight, approximately 6.45 Eastern. Game two of the national semifinals. IUP, Indiana University, Pennsylvania, and Augusta. The 2 3 matchup. And it looks like it's for the right to face Northwest Missouri State. Just over four minutes left. 64 46 Bearcats. Bearcats are so good at both ends of the court, Rich. You know what I mean? Offensively, defensively. Take care of the ball. Dukic. With the foul before the shot, 64-46. We're under four minutes in this NCAA Division II semifinal. Coming up next, join our 360 crew for the Sweet 16 tournament coverage. They'll break down today's action on NCAA March Madness 360, presented by Nissan, right here on CBS Sports Network. Diego Bernard back out of the locker room. They were looking at a knee. And again, if you're just joining us, Bernard took a violent fall on a dunk attempt. We went back and watched tape for Bernard and his last 30 seconds or so of play. He had come down the floor. There wasn't an event, it seemed like, but he was motioning that to the official that, hey, my knee is bothering me, and he yep. came out of the game, and he's back on the bench. We yep. did not find anything where he ran into somebody or fell or or tweaked anything, and no. you don't know, obviously, if it's residual from the fall, but that's a concern for Northwest Missouri State, who seems destined for another national championship appearance on CBS on Saturday. Yeah, I'm sure it was for when he got that violent foul, but it's all right. Hutchins goes down. <clears throat> and Black Hill State immediately helping him up. There's still 343 left in this game. 64-46. Cisse with the foul. Well, we're up 18. I'd go maybe under the two-minute mark, Rich, and then uh, take out your player of the year. You don't want anybody to get hurt, but not your franchise guy. <clears throat> Hudgens again. Not a, a, a Hudgens-like night. 11 points, two of seven from the field, but six assists and two steals. Yeah, he played good defense. Musa. Oh. Yes. Adam Musa. Musa, three points. 13 for Musa. Joel Scott has 19 to lead Black Hill State. Good drive, Jackson. Yep. Jackson. Great call by Coach McCollum. They just isolated. They saw that uh, Jackson was too quick, too fast, too well handling the ball for Hayes. She says three. Musa hunting for a shot. Nice look to Scott. He's doubled, strips. Mascari takes it away. Sixty-eight forty-nine. They have the mismatch, Rich. That's why Jackson has it again. PJ Hayes a good player, but he's not quick enough to guard Jackson. Now scary ball fake down the lane, kick. Wes Dreamer and it rolls out. Fresh shot clock and a timeout. timeout. Northwest Missouri State going to call a timeout. Two eighteen left. Ben McCullough may be bringing in the reserves right now. It started 2017 for a national championship. Ben McCollum, former guard at this school. And then in 2019, 2020, no tournament, but they were number one in the country. So they had to wait until 2021. Pete, you and I got to see that one last year. Ryan Hawkins, a big part of that 
championship as well. Just about everybody back except Hawkins yep. this year. Hawkins, a big, big loss. Had a great year, as we mentioned before, at Creighton. Second team all Big East, but get so many weapons, Rich. It's unbelievable. Stop one weapon again. Other guys ready to step up. How about Dreamer? I mean, he was, he was dreaming all game. He was tremendous. And other guys step up. Isaiah Jackson did a nice job. Dukic misses a three. Musa with the rebound. Yeah, Dreamer fantastic in this one, especially in the first half. He's got 11 points and 12 rebounds. But he made a tremendous contribution. Mascari, ooh, and that's Isaiah Jackson who goes up and scores. And now every time someone goes down, we've seen two terrible falls. I know. One, of course, was Bernard who got up and continued to play. And then if you just joined us, Tommy Donovan with a severe foot and lower leg injury for Black Hill State. Was on the floor for... It seemed like 12 to 13 minutes and had to be stabilized and removed on a stretcher. Daniel Abreu is off the bench right now for the Bearcats. Ooh, that's a clean look at a three. PJ Hayes drops it in. Christian Stanislav is in as well. And now Spencer Schaumers is going to come in. And so the regulars pretty much off the floor now for Northwest Missouri State. Isaiah Jackson was terrific. <clears throat> I think he's one of the unsung heroes. Did a real good job defensively, scored double figures. I thought he was a, a very solid contributor for Northwest Missouri State. Yeah, three assists, one turnover to go with the 10 points, five rebounds as well. So some run time for some of the reserves. Abreu is usually the third man off the bench. Byron Alexander on the sideline and is fouled. The personal foul. And the season coming to a close for Joel Scott. What a year it's been for him. 23 points, 11 rebounds a game, 21 double-doubles. His career numbers, he will finish his career as the top scorer and rebounder Black Hill State, maybe the greatest player they've had. Yeah, he was tremendous. He was in the conversation for National Player of the Year, Rich, as you know, so fabulous player. Uh, you know, I thought he would have been going inside a little bit more today, but terrific. Dukic was out of bounds. It was 70 to 52, Northwest Missouri State, and that's mom. That's uh, Joel Scott's mom. Shaking her head. I've been there, mom. Don't worry about it. Teresa. We were documenting his one family, minute, talking minute, about all his brothers that played minute. college basketball. His one brother played college football. Dad and mom were college athletes as well. The personal foul, Black Hill State one. Joel Scott, his third personal, teams 10. Two free throws. A tremendous year for Scott. <clears throat> 23 points. 62% for the field is fabulous. Rebounds, almost 11 rebounds, a tremendous year. Uh, the team won, you know, 25 games, so they had a tremendous season. Free throws for Abreu, misses the first. And now the reserves are coming in for Black Hill State. And Scott is on his way out. We've been talking about his family a lot during this game, and with good reason. I mean, just look at this. We told you mom and dad were athletes at Air Force. Teresa was a low post player on the basketball team. He had three brothers playing college basketball and a brother that played college football. It's a lot of groceries, Pete Gillen. Oh, yeah. Nope. I'd uh, rather clothe them than feed them. Those guys. Oh. Three point shot banged home. Michael, Michael Russell. Russell. Three Rich. Seven minutes after five, we're in Evansville, Indiana, Central Time. The banks are open. Make a deposit, get some interest. Taylor Edwards with a steal and a layup. Taylor Edwards. So certainly a thrill in this national semifinal game for a lot of these reserves to get in, get some time. Sure. Get themselves on the scorebook. Yep, they work just as hard as the starters. They put as much time in, sacrifice, vacation time, family time. So it's great to get in for a little, little bit of a run. Alexander will hold it. 
two-second differential on the shot clock. And Northwest Missouri State is headed to a very familiar spot, and that's the national championship game on Saturday on CBS. Going to take a terrific team on a terrific day to beat this Northwest Missouri State team, but it could happen. All right, the bracket, no problem in the Elite Eight. Not an issue here in the national semifinal. And into the final is the five seed, Northwest Missouri State. The Bearcats, three Eastern on CBS, will face the winner of IUP and Augusta. And we will visit shortly with Ben McCollum. Our A.J. Ross on the floor. And certainly our thoughts are with Tommy Donovan. And the Black Hill State Yellow Jacket that suffered that leg injury. But for now, the Bearcats head to their locker room. Trevor Hudgens, the player of the year, he didn't need to score 25 to win. He had help from his teammates, the double-double from West Dreamer, terrific defense from Diego Bernard. An outstanding game, as you pointed out, by Isaiah Jackson as well. And Ben McCollum is with our A.J. Ross. A.J.? That's right, Coach. This was a tough, physical, scrappy game. Black Hill State pulled within four at one point. But your team embodied that toughness and gritness you discussed. How do they respond under pressure, would you say? Yeah, you know, we've got, we've got upperclassmen in Diego and Trevor that, that just keep fighting, keep competing. Things didn't go our way offensively. We just couldn't get clicking, couldn't hit shots, and, and uh, so we had to find other ways. And I thought defensively we dialed in that second half, and offensively we hit enough shots to be able to pull away and win the game. As you mentioned, the second half, it seemed the pick and roll gave you some good looks. Uh, you mentioned Trevor Hudgens not having the best game, but Luke Waters really stepped up. When this team is in rhythm, how unstoppable are they? Yeah, no, once we get going and Luke starts hitting shots, I mean, they, they were going to make Luke beat him. They weren't going to let Trevor beat him, and, and um, you know, Luke was able to hit a few shots in that second half that helped us pull away, and then our defense was um, locked in, and it has been for quite a while now. Diego Bernard took a really tough fall here earlier in the second half. He went to Hopefully he's okay, and we can have him back for the championship. Great win, Coach. Looking forward to the championship game. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, AJ. Nicely done. That's game one of the national semifinals. The Division II Final Four here in Evansville. Pete Gillen, AJ Ross, our entire CBS crew. I'm Rich Waltz. So long from Evansville, we're back in a bit. This a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Back to Brent Stover and company, our New York studio for NCAA March Madness 360, presented by Nissan. Rich, Pete, AJ, the entire crew, well done. We'll get back out there in about 30 minutes from now. Welcome in. It is indeed NCAA March Madness 360, presented by Nissan. Brent Stover, Gary Parrish, Shelvin Mack, John Rostein. Yep. Uh, biggest takeaway from this 13-point victory for the Bearcats, Shelvin? The Bearcats were able to make threes in the second half. First half, they kind of struggled. Trevor Hedges didn't have a great game. But overall, as a team, they made five threes, shot 50% in the second half. It blew it open. They blew it open. And March is a month for Dreamers. And we saw one tonight come to the forefront. West Dreamer with a double-double in this game, Brent. This is the guy you got to love to put in bull print after this game. The chairman of the board. It's a lot like you, the chairman of CBS <laughs> Sports Network. I'm like, he's, he's, he's emptying everything. Uh, what about you, Gary? Yeah, Northwest Missouri State was tremendous. You know, shoot, you know, roughly 50% from the field. When you do that, you're going to win most games. And then, obviously, there was a big development in the second half. Tommy Donovan going down with what appeared to be a lower leg injury. They had to cart him off. Just a scary scene. He seemed in good spirits, smile on his face. But obviously, that appeared to be a pretty devastating injury. Yeah, it kind of put a damper, certainly, on this game. But uh, if you're the Bearcats, this is now a golden opportunity to go for their third straight national title in Division II. All right, the second Division II semifinal is still on the way. As Augusta and Indiana University of Pennsylvania are set to square off for a spot in Saturday's title game. We take you until tip-off of that one right here on CBS Sports Network. Stay with us.